Hello. Hello and good morning, Yolanda. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I'm so proud of you for bringing this story forward, not just because of how old you are, but because you have it in your heart to preserve history. And I love that about you. Well, thank you. That really means a lot. Thank you for um, giving me this platform to be able to share the book. Well, we need voices like yours because you know how history is in this country. We, we tend to want to forget it. But on the 95th birthday of your grandfather, you're saying, hey, look, something did happen and it continues to have a force even today. Right. Yes, you're, you were completely correct about that. How did you know in your heart that it was time to write this book? Because, you know, authors walk you know, about on the planet every day and then all of a sudden, boom, it hits us. I'm writing a book. Well... I guess from a, uh, from a young age, um, I, I'd always been told, oh, you're going to write a book one day about no. like, all the stuff that you're saying. Like, this is great stuff. I'm sure or people would be like, oh, I'm sure she'll have a book in no time. To, and, and so I always thought, you know, yeah, I'll have a book. And then eventually like, it, it kind of was on my bucket list. But I didn't know that it would happen so soon. And I'm really grateful because I think that now, I, I think the nation and really the world is ready for a book that is inspiring. I think that we've been informed of the information and we we know about what's going on and especially in 2020 we saw more people having talks, we saw an awakening, but and and that is a is a milestone in in and of itself, but now we must actually um find a way to encourage people and so this book in my opinion is almost as though it, it pays homage to the past but also it's a pitch it it kind of if you look at the way first starting with the past and introducing the product and then yes. and then going to the to the present and, and the potential it, i feel like we're almost pitching to the world and, and to kids what what our world can look like and, and to kind of to engage people, to get people involved, to, to bring inspiration. I think that now people know of these issues, but we, might, we need to find something that will encourage people because sometimes these conversations, yes, they're great, yes, it, it's, um, it's progress, but we must do something to, to really inspire people, to get people involved, to encourage people. Mm-hmm. to do something because this can be discouraging sometimes. Yeah, so many times people think that when it comes to having a voice, that means that they've got to be activated in in groups and circles that are going to bring big change. All you have to do is participate, become activated with your word and get with people that can share your word and get into those communities. Correct. You are correct once again. And it, see, it takes books like this to give people the voice because we all have that voice. We've got to stop running away. And that's why we need a book like this. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So how do you activate it in your own personal life? Because, I mean, putting the book out there is one thing, but I have this feeling inside my heart that you are really involved with your community. Well, I think that um, I'm really interested in finding creative solutions. I think that without creativity, we can't find solutions to these issues. I mean, if you look at every invention, the phone, or even something as simple or something we take for granted, such as a seat, someone was creative enough to make that invention to a, to a legitimate problem we had. And so I think that we can do the same thing with these issues and, and really been spending time thinking about or finding ways to come together or researching people who really have solutions and, and creative solutions to these um, to these issues that we have and so um, doing that and, and, and following peers and um, engaging in service I think that's one of the best ways to be involved in engaging in service yes. doing a service to the community and everyone really the thing about serving is that it's great because it, it, everyone can do it and, and so we've been working on um, We've been working on making service even more accessible because um, for the 95th birthday, there will be a launch of an initiative um, which we call Realizing the Dream, which for five years will be, um, will be encouraging the country to engage in, in service and, and obtain a, an amount, a large amount of service hours as almost, a, yep. I guess, a present for my grandfather's 100th birthday in the next five years. One of the things that I've learned through spirituality is what we do today affects the next seven generations. You are the second generation after your grandparents. Look at the the energy of what they did and you continue it today. 
No, it's more of a statement. It's also, I, I, you know, how how are you able to embrace it? I mean, I mean, to, because to have that living seed still inside of you is just is so inspiring to me. Well, I think because of human nature, and, and of course I am human. I, I there are times where I feel discouraged, or there are times where things get hard, and, and there's always um, there's always that pushback. But really, I think to answer your question, going to the past, seeing the fortitude of my grandparents and, and their peers and, and those involved in the movement, because if you ask me, that took a that took a lot of strength. That took a lot of. Um, with all they had to endure, that took a lot of. My new favorite word is, is fortitude, and, and so you'll hear you'll hear me using um, that a lot. Um, and so them being able to have, I guess, that type of strength and power is what really inspires me. And also um, seeing my peers and then seeing that there are so many pe- people who are around my age or who are in my age group who are so concerned about these issues and who also um, stand with me to know that I'm not alone, to know that there are people who are just as passionate about me, to see that there are people who still have passion. That, that's really encouraging and inspiring to me and in, in seeing other um, activists who are around my age. I'm glad you talked about how the, the younger generation is thinking because I did a feature yesterday on iHeartRadio that was 100% based on the people that I talk with that go, I don't think about it because if I think about it, it gives me anxiety and and I go no you've got to think about this and you've got to activate it that's why it's so important that you continue your word right exactly and and so I believe that um, as well with the book yes you think about it but you don't have to you don't have to have anxiety because I get it yes sometimes it, it can it can make people really anxious and so being able to talk about it but also being able to remind people of the potential of our world I think so often we forget about the potential we can reach and, and we um, we're so focused on talking about the issue and, and talking about our current state, and that's what's causing the anxiety. I think we need to talk about it and also be like, and here is the solution, and or and here is the type of world we're going to have. And I, I remember having conversations with people and then coming out of those conversations and being very, very discouraged, and it can it can be draining. So we need to talk about it, and we but we need to talk about it in a new light, a new yeah. way that allows people to, um, yes, I I mean, I think if you're not concerned about these issues, then that's a whole other issue in in and of itself, but we need to be able to talk to it to a point where we're not anxious, and and I think the best way to do that is to be able to share the type of world we have and to also focus on solving the problem instead of just lingering and, and, and staying, I guess, sad and about about the problem. Yeah. I'm just so proud of you. I cannot wait to talk to you more and more in the future as you continue to grow with this universe. Well, thank you for having me and allowing me to um, share a little message. Well, you be brilliant today, okay, Yolanda? <laughs> I will. Thank you.